Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're gonna be taking a look on how to make a countdown timer in Unity. This is very simple and it's great for beginners, so let's get started. First thing I want to do is create a new c -sharp script that I'm gonna call countdown timer. In here we're going to need a few variables, so let's just create them. We're going to need a float for our current time and we're also going to need a float for our starting time. You can make this public, you don't have to. Now we're going to go in void start and just say current time equals to starting time. This is very simple, so once the game starts we're going to set our current time to be equal to starting time. Let's just up here set our current time to 0 and our starting time to 10. We're going to go down to void update and now each second we want to decrease our current time by 1. We can do that by going current time minus equals 1. But this is going to do it each frame. We don't want that. We can use time dot delta time to fix that. So this makes it so it decreases it by 1 each second. I'm gonna leave a link to time dot delta time documentation down in the description. This is all great, let's just print our current time each frame. Let's just create a temporary empty object. This is only for testing, so let's just drag our script here. You can see it's decreasing by 1. That's all great, but now we have to delete this object and now we want to display this on our screen. We're gonna use UI text for that. Let's just rename this to countdown text. I'm gonna increase my font size to something like 74 and now you can't see it. That's because our rectangle is too small to display our uh, text. You can fix this in two ways. You can either change your width and height of the rectangle or you can set it to overflow the rectangle down here. I think it's better to change the rectangle transform so I'm just gonna do that. And I'm also going to change my text to something like 0, 0. That doesn't matter because we're going to overwrite it. If it doesn't look center, just go to your position and change that to 0, 0. And um, you can also go down here to alignment and set this to middle. Now it should be aligned. And let's go to our canvas and drag our countdown text to it. But we still are not changing our countdown text text in the script. So we want to do that. So in the script we're basically going to change this value right here to our current time. So let's go to our script and set it to use unity engine dot UI. And now we can create a new variable and call it text. So this is going to be this text object right here, our countdown text. And we're going to call it countdown text. We're going to make it public. Actually, let's make it serialized field. This is same as private, but only we can see it in our editor right here, as you can see. Let's drag our countdown text to this. And now instead of printing our current time, we're going to set our countdown text dot text. So that is the text object on here, the sorry, the text component on here. And then we're accessing this thing right here. So countdown text dot text equals current time. But if you try to run this, you will probably get a error message saying float cannot be converted to string. That's all fine. We can fix that by going current time dot to string and put some parentheses here. I almost forgot but I have this cool font right here. I'm just gonna drag it over and I will leave a link to this font in the description. You don't have to use it, it just looks cool. If we click play, you can see that our current time gets displayed here. But we only want to see the whole numbers. We can also f fix that pretty easily. So we want to in the parentheses here just type this and now if we click play, it should only display the whole number. That works great. 
But if you take a look, you can see that we can go even into negative numbers. So if we go down here and just type in if current time minus equals, sorry, not minus equals, but if it's less or equal to zero, we want to set our current time equal to zero. So when the current time reaches zero, it's just going to keep setting it to zero. So we count down and it doesn't display the negative numbers. That's all great. And I have a little task for you guys at home. Using this method, you can set your text to change color depending on which number it is. And I'm just going to show you a little example. To change color, you can go countdown text dot color equals to color dot and then you can cho cho choose your color or you can go up here and create a variable variable for the color. So this is just a little task for you guys at home that want to learn a bit more. So I would suggest maybe once the countdown reaches, I'm sorry, the current time reaches three, uh, maybe change the color to red. So it kind of indicates that it's, it's um, close to zero or something. Just have fun with it. And if you do the task, comment down below. I just want to see how you guys did it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If it helped you, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below on things that you want me to make videos on. And uh, go follow me on my social media. There's a link to that in the description. And also subscribe because it helps me out a lot. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.